Hey everybody, welcome back to Faraday Research, and it's Saturday night, and it's about almost 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I decided to do an ex really extensive test on the pulse motor generator, and uh, as a result, I got some pretty amazing results, and I'll, I'll describe what I've done in this test. I purchased myself one of these uh, 500 ferret uh, 16 volt capacitors on Amazon. I'll probably put the uh, link in the description there uh, after I get the video posted. So the way I did this test, I'll tell you what the conditions are. In this test, there was no batteries involved at all. Zero batteries. In the test, I also had a dummy load which I got the light there is the dummy load. Now the high voltage spikes was also going into this very small little capacitor bank here. Um, it's maybe, well this one here is 2200 unifarad and all these together. Eh, maybe not even half, not even half a ferret there. All right, so when I did the test, I charged up my capacitor bank to 13 and a half volts. So I got the dummy load. And what I did was, after it was charged, I looped it back, see this yellow wire here? Now it's attached to a diode. So the voltage can't go back this way. It can only go back into the capacitor bank. So I've looped it basically back into the system. Now, the other part of the conditions is the uh, switch and the proximity sensor. I don't know if you can see it there. I'll try to get in here. See the proximity sensor? Now that is run off this whole power system. So if I detached the, the, the read switch and uh, the timing switch and put it on a separate battery bank, I probably would have got even better results okay so the next test I'm gonna do is gonna be with uh, the the switch and the read switch on a separate power supply but um, for this test that I did they were part of the system they were being run by the capacitor bank so there are no batteries in this system at all zero now get this, this system sustained 14.8 volts high, sp high voltage spikes, regular voltage it was hovering about 7, so my back EMF spikes were about 14.8 volts when it died, when the whole system shut down. It ran on its own with no batteries, 47 minutes. I charged this to 13 and a half volts. It's capable of going to 16, but I only charged it to 13 and a half volts. Now, these this bank here is 500 ferrets. I don't even think I had it completely full to 500 ferrets. I really don't. I got 47 minutes runtime with a sustained high voltage spike of 14.8 volts. All I can say is WTF, WTF. Now, the question is, if I detached the, the, this switch here, the timing switch and the read switch and put it on a separate power supply, this thing would probably run well over an hour. So I'm very curious to see how even more efficient this thing will be if I detach those two loads off it. And for the test, I'll probably keep the dummy load on. So there is gonna be a load on it. I, I predict this thing will go over an hour, well over an hour. That would be pretty amazing. So if anybody out there has a pulse motor and can do what this thing can do, I'd be very surprised. And the fact is, there are no batteries. It's basically capacitors. 500 ferret, 13 and a half volts. 
a tiny little capacitor bank that holds maybe about 15 volts tops, maybe 20 volts, but it's tiny. It's like not even a, not even a half a ferret, not even close. It's about maybe about 3,500 unifarad. So I thought this was pretty cool. But anyways, uh, yeah, if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget, subscribe at the bottom corner if you haven't become a member yet. And I also have in my description my uh, uh, PayPal account where you can donate. Chuck me a coffee. That'd be great. A couple of bucks. Uh, if you like what I'm doing or if you have any questions on how I did this, um, yeah, just uh, post a message and uh, hopefully I'll get back to you promptly. So, yeah, this was really cool. Uh, I couldn't believe it. 47 minutes with no batteries. And look, the light's still running. And it's running at, yeah, the capacitor bank still has 7.4 volts. I predict I can get this thing down to about 2.5 volts before this thing would actually stop running. That's provided that I hook up the uh, timing switch and the read switch on a separate power supply. I'll probably get well over an hour and I could probably go down to about two and a half volts, maybe two, yeah, two volts and this thing would conk out. And also don't forget, you put a diode in going out, loop it back and reattach it to your capacitor bank. And then it'll just continually loop and loop and loop. And I had the voltmeter there when it died, it had 14.8 volt, uh, 14.8 volts high voltage spikes. That was the back EMF. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the next test will be, I'm gonna try to isolate those two switches, put them on a separate power bank and do the test again and see how long it'll go. I predict well over an hour. So anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, we'll see everybody soon. Don't forget to subscribe.